Yes, good evening guys to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. So guys, in this session, we are going to see some wonderful problems on the machine design. Okay. So in this class, we are going to solve around 15 questions. Okay. And rest 15 would be your homework. Okay. So I will try to increase this number to 20 so that you get less homework because today is 31st December. So we want to complete this year's task in this year only. So guys, we are starting Chili Mishra. Good evening, Ajay. Hi, dear Amir. Hi. So we are starting the session. Uh, this is some detail about me and today's session is related to machine design. Okay. So we are moving further. So guys, tomorrow, 1st January, 12.30 PM, I would be taking a workshop, mega workshop on strategy to be in top 1% for gate 2024 if you are looking for gate 2024 then this would be a good uh, workshop maybe a strategy changing workshop for you shrut good evening madhu amshi good evening and yes uh, to you also dear uh, i would say at the end of the class we would be near to the new year at that time so guys from 3rd of january uh, this maha marathon series is planned this would be a 15 day complete revision series where we would be revising entire mechanical engineering, entire civil engineering in the 15 days. Okay. So let us move further. <laughs> yes, Chili Mishra, I can understand that. So that's really great. So dear, without wasting the time, I'm coming to the question. This is the very first question. And this is from the break. You can see this is the drum rotating in clockwise direction. 1 kilo newton of load is acting 500 and 500 mm as the distances 310 is this distance it is already mentioned that the radius is 260 so because of radius given to us we can say that this distance is 50 mm okay so my dear now i feel we can solve this question this is from the shoe brake and you need to find out the braking torque and you know for this we need some analysis the formula for breaking torque is mu n r so we are not having the value of n we need to calculate that so if i show you the free body diagram which will help you to calculate okay which will help you to calculate here we have a force of 1 kilo newton and you know this is going to be the shoe so here we have a normal reaction of n and you know as the drum is rotating clockwise onto the drum the normal reaction would be acting like this sorry friction force will act like this so on the shoe this would be the friction force so just take moment summation moment about o to be zero this will give you the value of n then you can find out mu and r that is your answer okay uh I am making this, don't worry, Amir, this distance is 500 mm, so I have made the image separately if that is the case, 500 mm, okay, and this is 50 mm. Now is it clear Amir, Bhavya is saying 200 uh, Newton meter, okay, what about others, so Bhavya what you are getting as normal reaction. So, Bhavya, what you are getting the normal reaction value? So, what you are getting as normal reaction value? So, what you will be getting as N, that will help you to find out the breaking torque mu and R. So, this is a good question for machine design. Okay, you are getting 1923 Newtons around. Okay. So, Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I feel some very nearby answer you are getting. What I got is near to that you are getting. Okay, so let us wait for others answer. Okay, so they are getting the same. It means your answers are correct. Very good. Jabir is also there. Very good guys. So it means the answer you are getting is correct. So how we will be solving it? You will be taking moment about this to be zero. So you know this is 1000 Newton, 1000 Newton is acting clockwise. 
सो यू विल राइट वन थाउजेंड न्यूटन इन टू वन थाउजेंड एम एम देन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी क्लोक वाइज देन एन विल बी क्रिएटिंग एंटी क्लोक वाइज सो एन इन टू फाइव हंड्रेड देन माइनस म्यू एन इन टू फाइव हंड्रेड म्यू एन इन टू फिफ्टी सो यू कैन सी म्यू एन इज ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग एंटी क्लोक वाइज सेम एज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एन so you would be having this to be zero this will give you the value of n and as you guys are getting n to be 1923 newton then when you will be finding out the breaking torque or friction torque mu n r so everybody is getting nearly 200 newton meter okay sir no issue jabir i can understand that don't worry first concentrate on them only after that only they are useful second is from fatigue loading ascent diagram very good guys so this lecture is from ascent diagram so just solve it as you know here calculations are required so you know this is ascent diagram this diagram do not have much use because they have given you the value still i am making a diagram for your help okay this is the diagram so you know this value is log base 10 0.9 times of sut and then this value is log 10 endurance limit this value is 3 this value is 6 okay so my dear now you need to find out life at this stress which is 200 mpa so for this this is going to be life i am assuming this to be x and this is nothing but log base 10 n so this is the diagram for your help i am making you need to find out this life life is going to be life is going to be 10 to the power x this would be your answer so try to solve it guys for that i will be using the similar triangle one triangle is this red one and other triangle is this white one so use the similarity of these triangle because one angle is 90 other angle is common third angle is also there so white triangle and red triangle are similar to each other use this similarity you will get the answer guys very good ajay for the previous question you guys have already answered it now i am asking this question jt is saying 135 okay 135 uh, you are saying million okay what about others so i am giving you the hint you will be using this red and white triangle let us say this is a b c d and e so you can write ab by bc and then ad by de so you can write ab ab is nothing but log base 10 this value is already given to you directly as 450 mpa so log base 10 450 minus log base 10 that is 150 divided by bc i feel this is 200 200 this is x minus 3 equated to log base 10 it is 450 minus log base 10 150 divided by 6 minus 3 solve it and get the value of x i am waiting for your answers guys just solve it jabir bhavya ajay madhuvamshi yes jt okay i am waiting for others to answer then we will see whether your answer is correct or not okay bhavya is saying 0.163 so bhavya's answer is correct bhavya's answer is correct so bhavya first of all tell me what you are getting the value of x so if you tell me the value of x that would be good okay madhuvam she have given the value x is coming out to be 5.1886 yes it is very nearby i got it 5.21 so i am getting x to be 5.2138 so the number of revolution is 10 to the power x 
so that would be coming out to be uh, around 163620 163620.038 that is what we are getting okay so he have asked the answer in he have asked the answer in uh, will be then be the cycle okay cycle only he is asking so nearest integer you need to give it very good teju so the answer is this if you are getting plus minus something in the machine design that is fine because that depends on the calculations if you will be putting up to two decimal you will get different answer three decimal you will get different answer generally we need to work in up to three decimal so the answer for this is this one moving to question number three next question is easier so i am not keeping every question difficult i am keeping all the levels of question like in exam they are asking this is easy level question. So I will be expecting this question in one mark. Previous two questions were of two marks. Yes. So we are going to solve around, around 20 questions in this class. Covering all the topics. Yes. What would be the answer for this one? Solve it. Solve it and get the answer. Bhavya is saying 140. Yes. What about other? So here you need some good quality strength of material. Madhu Vamshi is saying A. Bhaat badia. So dear here saying a solid circular shaft. A solid circular shaft. It is subjected to obviously some twisting moment because of which the maximum shear stress induced is around 140 MPa. Okay. So, the magnitude of the maximum normal stress developed in the shaft. So, you know that this is the condition, this is the state of stress of the pure shear. For such pure shear state of stress, we would be getting sigma 1 to be plus tau, sigma 2 to be minus tau. So, sigma 1 is coming out to be plus 140 MPa and sigma 2 to be minus 140 MPa. So, the answer would be coming out to be A for this. Very good guys. A would be the right answer. Moving next question this is once again easy question so he is asking the best theory for ductile materials very good amir best theory for ductile material he is asking about ductile material yes very good madhu vamshi so my dear if they are asking for brittle material then the best theory is Rankine. And if they are asking for ductile material, best theory is Tresca, which is MSST. This is MPST. But if you see MSST is not in the option. So the second option here is MDT. Distortion energy theory. So the answer would be C, not D. Good evening, Kiran. Very good. So, Kiran, where were you absent today? In the morning session, you were not there. Okay. I feel you are busy in the mathematics class. So, this is the next question. So, guys, in this question, they are asking about the maximum working stress according to the distortion energy theory. So, I feel everybody remember when we are going for MDET. The working stress is given as square root of sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2. That is what you need to use. This type of question have been there in the gate examination two to three times. Solve it. Question number 5 is going on. We will solve around 12 to 15 more questions. So target is to cover 20 questions in the class. Rest 15 you will get for homework. 
तेजु इज सेइंग सी किरण इज सेइंग सी मधुवंशी इज सी बहुत बढ़िया सो व्हेन यू विल बी डूइंग दिस दे हैव गिवन यू सिग्मा 1 टू बी 360 सिग्मा 2 टू बी 140 सो यू जस्ट नीड टू डू व्हाट 360 का स्क्वायर प्लस 140 का स्क्वायर माइनस 360 into 140 and the answer would be 314 MPA. Very good. Ajay, Jabir, Sachin, Gautam, Shubham. So Sachin, you are there after many days. How is your preparation going on? Production marathons, you are not attending. Okay. So be there from uh, now regularly because we are having the marathon series now. So a machine element is loaded so that sigma 1 is plus 120, sigma 2 is 0, sigma 3 is minus 90 MPA, SYT 360 MPA. You need to answer the factor of safety using MPST. Options are there with you. 1, 2, 3 or 6. Very good. I feel majority of you have already answered. So Vivek Kumar is saying C, Bhavya C, Kiran C, Sachin C, Shubham C and Madhuvam is also saying C. And guys, yes, your answer is correct. Because when you will find out, you need to check maximum of these three magnitude wise. Because we are having an assumption material behavior is same under tension and compression. So you will say sigma maximum is less than equals to SYT divided by N. So maximum is 120, 360 by N. So N is coming out to be 3. C would be the right answer. Moving to the next question, factor of safety according to MSST with the same data. With the same data. According to MSST, you know MSST says sigma 1 minus sigma 2 or sigma 2 minus sigma 3 or sigma 1 minus sigma 3 is equal to SYT by N because nature of stresses are not same, they are opposite. So for that purpose, this would be the results. Fine. So this time Jabir says A. Teju A, Kiran A, okay, Bhavya have answered it as A, okay, so how you will answer it, you will say sigma 1 is 120, this you will be using, minus of minus 90, because you know, this will give us the maximum value, you need to select maximum of these three, so it is equals to 360 by N. So you have 120 plus 90 is 210, 360 by N. So N will be coming out to be 1.715. A is the right answer. Very good guys. Very good Sachin. Moving to the next question. This is also very easy question from fatigue loading. So I have taken care of every type of question. Fatigue loading. So, what would be endurance strength if ultimate strength is 600 MPA? If that kind of thing is coming, how you will be taking care of? No, 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 no. No, Bhavya. Not correct. Ajay, not correct. Madhu Vamshi is correct. So, my dear, in general for mild steel, endurance limit is coming out to be 0.5 times of SUT. So, it would be 0.5 times of 600. The answer would be 300. For mild steel, it is coming out to be 0.5 times. For other materials like you have aluminium and all, for them it is 0.4 times something. 0.45 times. So, better you remember this result only. Because in general, we are going for the fatigue testing also only for steel. So, that is why that steel value you have to remember. Always remember this. This type of question you can expect in uh, gate and ESC both type of examinations now. 
सो समाइम इफ दे गिव अल्टीमेट डू नॉट गिव एंडस यू कैन यूज इट ओके अंबाती डियर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू ऑल मैकेनिकल स्टूडेंट हेयर देर इज अ स्टूडेंट नेम्ड एज एस्पायरेंट हिज नेम इज अंबाती एक्चुअली एंड ही क्वालिफाइड प्री एग्जामिनेशन इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेस फ्रॉम सिविल इन मेन्स ओनली शॉर्ट ऑफ थ्री फोर मार्क्स सो आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट दिस एफर्ट वॉज वेरी गुड एक्चुअली बिकॉज for that examination which is said to be india's toughest examination with number of seats hardly equals to for civil also not more than 150 it is it is 100 120 for such type of thing if you are reaching up to that level a big salute to you i will say so it is not like you are inspiration for others you have done really nice so don't get demotivated if you see today i have taken a session of a student who qualified uh, engineering services examination how first in btech not after mtech he went for the first attempt in 2019 he was not getting selected for mains for the second attempt he got selected for mains but was not qualified for interview in the third attempt he got selected with air 18 in the fourth attempt this year he got air 5 so this exam needs number of years so don't mind and don't worry amati i will say that to you okay so i discuss this with the students because every time they will be uh, thinking of leaving such exam so you have done really nicely i will say it was a good attempt and you must uh, keep on try with some jobs not be uh, idle go for a job and with the job try this okay you will definitely get it takes time some time for students okay is it clear so a shaft is subjected to fluctuating loads with nominal torque here torque is 1500 newton meter bending moment is 2000 newton meter so they have given kb as 2 1.5 te would be coming out to be kb times m ka square plus kt times t you will be getting this sorry 4589 newton meter this is from design of shaft so i have covered all the questions in this yes ambati you do some job along with that go for exam because once you are uh, already that much close to esc now you don't need the entire year to study you can do uh, the revision part with the jobs do the job and along with that continue with the uh, preparations okay even you can try the jobs of subject matter expert you have qualified esc prelims and mains also you are very nearby so you can try for the jobs of smes where you are going to uh, make the contents of the same examination preparing institutes there you would be uh, doing the revisions along with that work because that work is related to that only that would be a good idea for you so here this is once again from mdet and you can see here sigma 1 is 250 mpa sigma 2 50 mpa sigma 3 is not required actually sigma 3 is zero so you are going to have mdet once again you are going to find out the yield strength of the material considering yielding sigma 1 square sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 is syt yes shubham is saying d kiran d teju d jabir d madhuvamshi d answer is also d moving to question number 11 this time you need to find out distortion energy per unit volume you are given with a stress tensor so you know that distortion energy is given as 1 plus mu upon 3e sigma 1 square sigma 2 square sigma 3 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma 1 sigma 3 and from this you are clear sigma 3 is minus 10 because you are going to have 
zero shear for z face and z direction and for this you can find out sigma 1 and 2 so you can find out sigma 1 comma 2 as x x plus y y by 2 plus minus x x minus y y by 2 ka square plus tau x y ka square okay solve it very good ajay so here sigma x x is 10 sigma y y is 20 tau x y is 5 solve it all the values are given to you it needs calculations actually this needs calculations actually so we are at 11th question <coughs> sorry nine more questions after this nine more questions after this yes Solve this one, guys. <clears throat> so, answer Ajay, you have given is for previous question. JT, your answer is wrong. Your answer is wrong. Yes, first of all find out sigma 1 and 2, then put the values, you will get distortion energy per unit volume. Yes, guys. Yes, guys, waiting for your answer. I feel Bhavya have given the right answer. The answer for this would be coming out to be 1679.06 Joule per meter cube. Always see the units. Okay, always see the units. So, Bhavya, uh, I feel the power you have given is wrong. It would be 10 to the power plus 3, not minus 3. They are asking in joule per meter cube. Okay. So, you are keeping the stresses in MPa. So, first of all, whatever you are getting sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, that is in MPa. So, because of that reason, it would be coming out to be 10 to the power. Uh, it is going to be 12. Okay. And this E is 10 to the power 9. So, overall you will get 10 to the power 3. Yes, that is what the mistake you have done. Okay, yes. So, I can understand this type of mistake happens, but that is why it is NAT. Okay, because in NAT you will be doing that kind of mistake. Great. Moving to question number 12. Here you need to tell us, as per MPST, MSST and MDET, which of the followings are correct. So, for this, by looking at the tensor, you can say sigma 3 is 0 and sigma 1 comma 2, you can find out with the formulas. Sigma xx plus yy by 2 plus minus square root of xx 
माइनस वाई वाई बाई टू का स्क्वेयर प्लस टाउ एक्स वाई का स्क्वेयर सो सोल्व दिस एंड देन टेल मी वॉट वुड बी द आंसर हेयर यू विल गेट If you are going to get same nature of principal stresses, if both sigma one and sigma two are coming out to be positive, or both are coming negative, then MPST and MSST they will give the they will give the same results. They will give the same results. So they will give the same factor of safety. So looking that into mind, answer it. Madhu Amshi is saying B, Teju is saying B, Shubham is saying B. Very good, Bhavya. So guys, if you will solve it, you will get both to be positive. As the data is showing, it is coming out to be positive. So if that is going to be both are going to be positive, you can see this is fifty ka square. So answer would be coming out to be hundred plus fifty and hundred minus fifty. So one fifty and fifty are the answer. Both are positive. So MPST, MSST will give same results. So P should be equal to Q. Then, if you see this option is wrong, this option is wrong, and all three cannot be equal. So obviously B is going to be the right answer. This is how you will think about such problem. Very good, Kiran, Jabir, बहुत बढ़िया. Answer would be B for this. Question number thirteen. This is from reverted joint. So we are covering one by one all the things. Here you need to tell the resulting shear load on the heavily loaded rivet. So you know this is the load 10 kilo newton, and these are the two rivets. Everything is given to you. You need to find out the resultant force. The point is that. Okay. So try to solve it. This is a two mark problem for sure. Let us see how many of you give the right answers. Yes, guys. So let us see how many of you give the right answers. Solve it. Teju is saying the answer to be D. What about others? What about others? What about others? We are still left with seven more questions. Abhishek is saying C. Abhishek Shivam. So Abhishek Shivam, your answer is correct. Your answer is correct. Yes. What badiya? Very good, Bhavya. So I will tell you how to solve it. First of all, my dear, you will see the effect of this load at centroid. Centroid of the rivet will be coming here. So you will apply one force here, other force here. This and this will be making a couple. So this would be a couple. So for this rivets, if you see, we are coming up with two things. So we are coming up with two things. One is the force P. Other is the couple P into E. So this is the eccentricity directly given. Okay, is it clear for everyone? Is it clear for everyone? So my dear, if you see once again, I am showing you. This is these are two rivets. 
हेयर यू आर हैविंग ए लोड विच इज इक्वल टू टेन किलो न्यूटन देन इट इज अ कपल विच इज टेन इंटू सेवेंटी फाइव किलो न्यूटन एम एम ओके दिस इज द वैल्यू सो नाउ यू विल सी दैट फॉर बोथ द रिवर्ट वट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ डायरेक्ट टी एस एल द इफेक्ट ऑफ डायरेक्ट टी एस एल विल बी कमिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टू प्राइमरी फोर्सेस एंड यू नो प्राइमरी फोर्स इन बोथ द रिवर्ट विल बी कमिंग आउट टू बी फाइव किलो न्यूटन बिकॉज इट इज नथिंग बट टेन किलो न्यूटन डिवाइडेड बाई टू यू विल बी गेटिंग इट टू बी फाइव किलो न्यूटन then we will be finding out the secondary forces so if we have this as rivet 1 this as rivet 2 you would be having a couple acting like this p into e so because of that my dear because of that you would be having one secondary force like this and other secondary force like this fs1 and fs2 okay and i feel everybody knows that we are going to find out fs1 as c times r1 where r1 is this distance similarly fs2 is c times r2 where r2 is this distance and then we will find out the c value c value will be coming out to be p into e divided by r1 square plus r2 square putting this you will get this to be 15 kilo newton this to be 15 kilo newton then my dear if you see both the rivets we have five here 15 here five here 15 here resultant would be coming out to be square root of 5 ka square plus 15 ka square answer would be 15.81 kilo newton 15.81 kilo newtons so now solve question number 15 this is from bearings you need to find out the power loss so you know when we are going to find out power loss first of all you will write zn by c1 okay because it is mentioned that uh, length is given load is given okay do not solve this question solve this one sober field number leave the previous one solve this one sober field number so guys uh, i have shared you the short notes of machine design there i have defined coefficient of friction variable so those two terms also remember sometimes they are asked in the paper so solve this one now full journal bearing 100 mm is the diameter 100 mm is the length you all know sober field number is given as bearing characteristic number into d by c ka square and pressure is load bate l into d so this is how you will find out pressure and then sommer field number this is from general bearing yes bhavya your answer is correct for the previous one your answer is correct for the previous one okay but i am giving you that question as homework that's great you have done it okay solve this then solve this Parmananda is saying C. So, Parmananda, are you giving the answer for this question? Yes, yes, yes. C is correct. C is correct. So, first of all, you will find out pressure. It would be coming out to be ten to the power six pascal because load is given to you as ten kilo newton and diameter and length is hundred hundred. 
so you will get 10 to the power 6 pascal you know here uh, unit should be in the pascal this n should be in the rps this should be in the pascal okay and rest you know it would be coming out to be 0 0.0156 this is correct answer yes mansuri very good your answer is correct moving to question number 17 the same data this time you need to answer fictional power that is why i have replaced that question i thought you will be answering from here so he is giving you the radial clearance so you know the power loss will be coming out to be so i wanted one type of one question so it is z yes z then yes everybody remember that formula first of all we will be writing tau tau was z times of z times of u by y so you would be writing z times of pi d n upon c1 okay then to make it fourth you were writing it tau into area so into pi d l then it will be shear force then to make it torque you will be writing force into d by 2 so into d by 2 now it becomes torque then into into omega okay omega is 2 pi n here small n is in rps okay so i feel everything is mentioned solve and get the answer very good jabir so for this question, uh, Bhavya is saying 0.157 kilowatt. What about others? Very good, Bhavya. Mansuri, very good, dear. Yes. So Mansuri, are you new to the channel? I have never seen you before in the comment section or you were coming with different name, I feel so. So that's really great. You are finding out answer correctly. So guys, if any of you have not joined my telegram channel, do join it. Okay. Because there you will get handwritten notes, short notes, formula notes, previous year's question, PDFs of these sessions, practice questions, and many things. Ajay is saying B. Sushil is saying B. Kiran is saying B. And answer is also B. Very good, guys. Ajay, very good. B is the right answer. Moving to the question number 18 now. This is once again the same. He is asking you the minimum oil film thickness. He is asking you about H0. Okay. So, I feel uh, you know that if we have a general bearing, how we define H0. So, this would be the center of bearing. This would be the center of journal. Then, this distance is said to be eccentricity. And if you are going to take this is capital R. This is small r. Okay. I am making the diagram again. Solve it. I feel everybody remember the formulas. This is bearing. Then this is going to be the journal. And this small gap is H0. So if you see this is the journal center. This is the bearing center. So from this to this. This is capital R this is small r this is eccentricity so capital r is e plus r plus h naught so h naught is r minus r minus e that is c1 minus e c1 is radial clearance okay so bhavya is getting 0 0.05 mm Teju, Kiran and Jabir have also answered the same and it is correct. It would be coming out to be 0.05 mm. So H0 is radial clearance minus eccentricity 0.05 mm is the answer. Moving to question number 19 guys. 19. Very good Madhu Vamshi. Very good Mansuri. This is from ball bearing now. It is subjected to some load 2500 Newton. First of all, find out the equivalent load. XVFR plus YFA. Then you know L90 is C by PE to the power 
to the power 3. For ball bearing, this is the formula. Solve it and get the answer. Very good, Madhuvamshi, Bhavya, Mansuri, Jabir, Kiran, Teju, Ajay, Sushil, Bhavya. Solve this one, guys. 19th question. After this, we have one question from Gears. After this, we have one question from Gears. Very good, Bhavya. So, Bhavya, I have given the answer to be 27. Same with the Kiran, C is the right answer. So, first of all, you will find out the equivalent radial load. So, what are you getting as equivalent radial load? You will be getting it to be 2500 Newton. So, then putting this uh, L90, 7500, 2500. 27. C is the right answer. Last question from Gears. Last question from Gears. Last question from Gears. So here my dear you can see 20 degree pressure angle and module is 4 mm and the number of teeth 48 power is 15 kilowatt and is 300 rpm face width is 25 mm you need to find out the radial force. You need to find out the radial force. I feel everybody remember from the power apply 2 pi nt by 60. You can find out torque. Torque is Ft into R. We can find out Ft. Then radial force is Ft tangent phi okay if they ask net force it is okay ft by cos phi but they are asking you the radial force solve it and get the answer guys okay so teju bhavya Very good guys. Kiran. Very good. So your answer would be coming out to be 1811 Newton. So guys this is we have completed these questions. I feel this 500 plus question series is almost completed from 3rd of January. Very good, Mansuri. From 3rd of January, marathons are starting. We will be starting from strength of material on 3rd of January. And then till 15 January, non-stop marathons will go on. Okay. So I will try to keep uh, the practice sessions on the same day so that you can also get the practice questions. Okay. And a good uh, revision plus practice will go on. So I feel this is the time to say goodbye to all of you guys. Okay. So good night. And I wish you happy new year in advance. Because after 3-4 hours you are going to enjoy that. And so goodbye guys for this session once again. Good night. Goodbye. And once again happy new year to all of you. Goodbye.